Nevada caucuses uh, Saturday, South Carolina right after. Democrat presidential candidate Tulsi Gabbard is here. Welcome to the program, and thanks for being with us today. We appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks so much. Good morning. Um, you don't have much support in Iowa or New Hampshire. You're real low in the polls, and I don't think you've got any delegates to the convention. So I, I'm sorry to ask this question, but why are you still running? Why are you still in the race? Well, voters uh, in both Iowa and New Hampshire and across the country really haven't had a chance to hear my message or, or to, to learn about the background and experience that I bring to serve as commander in chief because there's been uh, an almost total corporate media blackout of my campaign since the day that I started running for president. Uh, you look at the comparison. Okay. Uh, well, I have had one nationally televised town hall. Uh, Pete Buttigieg, he has had 11 nationally televised town halls. So uh, there have been some challenges, but we're still here. We're still fighting and still bringing the message of the change that I seek to bring to voters you, here in South Carolina right now. Forgive me for jumping in there, but can you, can you just give me 30 seconds and summarize your position? Why are you running? What do you want? The question that South Carolina voters have before them and voters across the country is do they want to keep seeing their hard-earned taxpayer dollars going to wage wasteful regime change wars, a new Cold War nuclear arms race, all of which do not make us any safer? Or do they want to see our taxpayer dollars actually going towards serving their needs, the needs of people in our communities here at home? Things like here in South Carolina, rural health care, uh, education, clean water, basic infrastructure needs. I bring the experience of having served now as a soldier for almost 17 mm -hmm. years, yep. uh, deploying twice to the Middle East, as well as my service in Congress, seven going on eight years, very focused on our national security and foreign policy okay. to the presidency, okay. to lead as commander in chief and, re in, and, and bring these soldiers values of honor and respect, integrity and service to the White House. Okay. Um, I want you to listen to what Andrew Yang said about President Trump when he dropped out of the race. It's brief, but just listen to this, please. Roll tape. I hope this campaign can be a message and a word of caution and guidance to my Democratic colleagues that Donald Trump is not the cause of all of our problems. We must address the real problems that affect our people and offer solutions to actually solve them. Uh, Tulsi, he just said, I'm sure you heard it, Trump is not the cause of all our problems. But I put it to you, the only unity in the Democrat Party is, frankly, hating Trump. Uh, here, here's what I'm bringing to voters, Republicans, Democrats, independents here in South Carolina, all of who can vote in this open primary here on February 29th, is that I am the candidate that's bringing this unifying message that's not based on hate, not based on hate for Trump or hate for the other party or hate for any one group or another, but is, is building this coalition of support that's centered around love of country and the recognition that when we treat each other with respect as Americans, bringing our different ideas and perspectives to the forefront to solve these problems and to bring about this systemic change then we can accomplish anything. We can heal the divides in this country, and we can stand together and move forward together towards that bright future. I put it to you that that message is not working for you. Now, you can say that you've been excluded from the media, and that's the reason why the message isn't getting through, but you've been running for many months now, and the message I don't think is getting through, and I don't think it's working. I'll give the last word to you, if I may. Yes, absolutely. What we're actually seeing is when people hear this message, when I'm able to get in front of people either in person or on television, on shows like yours and others, our support actually builds and grows. And so we're continuing to stay in this campaign, continuing to reach out directly to voters, inviting them to come and join our people-powered movement, and inviting others. If you like this message that I'm delivering, go to Tulsi2020.com, make a contribution, help us continue to carry this message forward across the country. Tulsi Gabbard, I just want to thank you very much for being on the program today. We really appreciate it. Thank, thank you. you. Sure thing. We'll see you Thanks soon. Thanks for having me on. You got it. Thank you.